Lots of people asking me how I actually put watermark in on pictures and why watermark are important to put on pictures before you put on Facebook. So first of all, I like to watermark so first of all to protect my copyrights of the images or your work. And second of all, it's great for marketing. So when you tag people, people can see that your website and um, can see that your name, so your name is all over the place and people know you and see what you're capable of, what you work. The, my, favorite photo, my favorite photo editor I use is called Faststone, and you can find it on faststone.org, and it's Faststone Image Viewer. I, use, I love that software, and I use it for all my marketing and my watermark, and I'm going to go through uh, in this tutorial and show you how to use it. Now, this software is for PC and Windows only. I, I personally use Mac, but I have a um, uh, Windows on Mac, so I can use that software as well. So you download the software and install like an like a old like another software, like a lot of software, and then you you open that software. You're gonna see all your files. What I like about it, first of all, when I do editing, when I edit the photos, I can choose the photos I like. So I go to tag, allow photo tagging, and and I basically go one by one and choose the, the photo I like to keep. I click on, I press the slash sign, and you see the square on the right corner. That means that you choose that photo to work with. So I go and I choose the ones I like. I don't choose the one I don't like. So when I'm done choosing the photos I like, I basically go back to this page by pressing enter, and I go again to tab, and select tabs file only. So you see all the files are selected is the, the ones that I actually tagged. It's easy and fast way to to choose the photos instead of like click delete delete. And now I want to copy or move them to a new folder. So I press C to copy or M to move, and I choose I choose the folder and I press copy. So now I have a new folder called new and with all the photos I selected. Now I'll do Control A to select all the photos in that folder and go to Tools and Batch Convert Selected Images or simply press F3. Now you make sure that the Advanced Options are checked and go to Advanced Options. I like to resize, resize the photo to 640 by 480 and then I go to Text and I, I put the text that I like in this case, I'm going to put my, my web address. I can choose different fonts. And I press OK. So I'm going to have text. You can also put your own watermark if you create your watermark at Photoshop or whatever. So I, for now, I'm going to use the text and the resize and press OK. And then I'm going to choose the folder I want to work with. It's going to be this one. And I press convert. And because I already it's already copied and it's not moved, so so I have a backup of the files. I can I can select yes to all. Make sure that you have a backup in case you you always want to make sure that you have your original files as well. Okay. Press done, and now we're going to check the actual images. So you see you see it's resized, and you have your watermark. Now it's safe to upload to Facebook let people know what is your website and what's the copyright. I hope this tutorial will help you to put your own watermark on your own pictures. And if you have more questions, please uh, contact me at mariah at ohmphotography.com or find me on Facebook, Mariah Diamond. Thank you.